Uh, when you're starting out, don't get caught up trying to make something too complicated. Um, keep it simple. Uh, think about a simple build order or uh, a simple strategy that you might have in mind and get your bot to, to do that. Um, it is possible to do some very complex things to have very high APM, to control multiple units simultaneously and, and do all sorts of crazy things like that. But that's, when you're first starting out, that's not going to be really possible and you'll probably hit a roadblock with that. Um, and so start with something simple, build you know some simple buildings, some simple units um, and move out and, and attack the enemy and, and get started with that and then expand from there. If you don't know machine learning, um, learning machine learning and how to control a StarCraft bot at the same time will be very difficult. So uh, I would start by controlling the bot and then uh, learning about machine learning and seeing if you can apply that to the bot. Um, if you know about machine learning, then sure, go for it and, and start using that with the bot. Um, it's very difficult to effectively use machine learning. So if you just want to muck around and have fun, just control the bot and don't worry about the machine learning part. You'll probably do better than, than most people doing machine learning anyway. I think if you have any programming knowledge at all, uh, you should be able to come into this and, um, you know, fiddle around with it and see if you can get it working. And, uh, you know, there, there are different languages that you can use. So um, if you have knowledge in one language, you should be able to apply that. Um, of course, the more you know about programming, probably the more detailed you could get with um, how advanced you can make your bot. But I don't think that you have to know really, you know, strong, uh, really strong programming in order to, to do that. In order to make a good bot, you probably need to understand the fundamentals of StarCraft, um, re you know, gathering resources, uh, making buildings, making units, understanding how units interact with each other, um, understanding timing uh, and map control and a few little things like that. So if you don't know a lot about StarCraft, you should probably watch uh, some streamers um, and see what they're doing. That's kind of how I learned. So then you can take that information and apply it to your bot. Um, otherwise, you know, it's very difficult. It's a very complicated game. So. Um, figuring it out from scratch um, could be quite hard. Since I have a machine learning bot, um, the biggest problem that I face is getting the machine learning part to work. Um, I understand how StarCraft works and I understand how to, you know, be fairly competitive with a, with a bot, um, but getting it to learn uh, is kind of the most difficult challenge I've had. Um, there are some mechanical things that are different to how you think as a human. So, you know, things that sort of come automatically to you, you realize you have to program those in. Um, so, you know, and sometimes the information that you have as a human may not be available, um, or the way that you approach it as a human may not be the same. So figuring out what those differences are, and then being able to do complex things like uh, controlling your you know, a couple of armies across the map and, you know, managing the base and then managing the army and, and sort of balancing that can be really tricky to, to program that and not favor one over the other. Uh, if you want to get started building a ProBot, uh, I would recommend taking a look at the Command Center uh, library or the PySC2 library. Um, both of those are on GitHub. You can read their introductions and, and sort of get started and then look around for tutorials. Um, each of those has a lot of tutorials. Uh, some are machine learning based for PyC2 mostly, um, and for Command Center there, there are plenty out there. Um, a lot of bots are also, the source code is made available, so you can pick up the bots that are existing and, and take those and modify them if you want, um, which might be an easier way to get started.